How you doing guys? This is Eric from RuleTheWasteland.com. In this video, it's going to be about the Sun Oven that you've seen in my last video, which you haven't checked that out yet. Give it a watch. It's a video right before this about cleaning it and setting up for the first time with vinegar. This video is my first attempt at cooking rice in the Sun Oven. Rice is something I eat a lot in normal every day to day life. And also it's a big part of my long-term food storage preparedness plan is rice because it's calorically dense super cheap, super easy to store, store for a long time, and it's easy to cook. At least we'll find out if it is in the sun oven. As I mentioned before, the sun oven, solar oven, is now going to be a big part of my plan, preparedness plan on how to cook my foods because you don't have to stockpile a ton of fuel for any other sort of cooking method. And obviously there's other advantages too, like it doesn't give have smoke or anything that's going to give away your position. It's relatively closed up compared to cooking on a grill or a stove top, like a gas stove. So it might even have less smells it would give away, you know, if you have food and things like that. Silent and obviously doesn't not needing fuel is fantastic. But there are also some advantages just not related to preparedness, like the fact that it cooks everything so evenly that because there is no one heating element, you know, at the bottom of a pot like a typical stove, everything is heated evenly so nothing burns, everything's cooked really evenly, nothing, you don't have dry, crusty spots, so it's fantastic. So this is my first attempt at cooking rice in the sun oven. And I actually have a link, if you check below, where the sun oven guys are giving me a $70 discount for you guys to get the kit, which is what I have. It's a fantastic deal, and I totally recommend you getting it. It's been half an hour and it is over 300 degrees, so we're good to go. We're just going to check this. This is a one and a quarter cups of dry rice that I've previously soaked for half an hour. It's the way I normally cook the uh, the rice, basmati rice. And it's supposed to be able to use less water in a sun oven. So I put two ounces. Normally I put twice as much water, I just put two ounces of water this time, as opposed to you know two and a half. So let's see what how that works. Now ready to go, leave it for an hour, come back every half hour to, to move it. So it's been half an hour. Unfortunately, as you can see, the sun moved to where there's cast a shade on this. And that's dropped the temperature down. So we gotta get it back in the light. All right, so we moved it to this part of the yard. It's been another half hour. As you can see, it's back up over 300. It's looking done. I'm gonna give it a shot. And by the way, I just love these aiming things. I think that's one of the best features of this. Besides the fact that overall it works really well. But these make it super easy. This and the, the leg in the back here just make it super easy to really quickly adjust it and get maximum effectiveness. So we're gonna see what happens. Nice and fluffy. I don't see a lot of water in there. Should be good to go. So here we are. Ooh, that's hot too. Well, that looks good. Look at that, like normally when I use the rice cooker, there's a layer of crust in the bottom that's all dried out because of um, the way that it works. Look how steamy that is, where the, the heat's coming from one particular spot. 
the bottom of the pan. You're never gonna have that in the solar cooker. Nothing will burn or stick to the bottom of the pan because the heat isn't coming from the bottom. It's coming from just the air temperature inside the oven. So it's fantastically even cooking. This looks nice and fluffy. This was in there for an hour. Now, I only used a little bit less water than I normally use in the rice cooker. It says in the sun oven stuff that you can use significantly less, like 30% less. So I'll try that next time, but this looks like it turned out really well. It's steaming hot, nice and fluffy. There's none of it's wasted by being stuck to the bottom. And also look at that, there's no cleaning. Like this stuff is just gonna come right off because it's not dried out and stuck to it. Fantastic. That's it. Super pleased with the results from this. It was incredibly easy. And I think I could even do it faster because as you saw in the video, there was a decent chunk, at least probably 20 minutes where it was in the shade. I didn't check it often enough and the temperature had significantly decreased. So if I'd kept that temperature up the entire time and kept it pointing more directly at the sun without getting blocked, and maybe even use less, less water, I could have cooked the rice in probably half an hour to 45 minutes as opposed to taking the full hour. So I'm gonna try that out next time, but I'm super pleased with the way it works. I can't wait to try even more complex cooking things, maybe like chicken or mixed dishes, you know, like a, a mountain house type stuff or some of the other stored food because it worked incredibly good for the rice to the, to the point that I'm probably gonna just cook my rice in that thing. It's the way it came out totally evenly without any of it being dried up and none getting wasted and the popping so easy to clean and still only taking you know 45 minutes you know to an hour with the total amount of time i spent on this even having to check it every time was probably 10 minutes you know of total time you have to be there able to go out there and check it every 15 to 30 minutes but that's not that big of a deal because most of the time you go out there it takes 10 seconds you just make sure the little guidance system is lining up with the light turn it or tilt it and that shouldn't take more than a few seconds, and then you come back out in another 15 minutes. And uh, very easy, worked great, and I definitely, definitely recommend the Sun Oven for your guys' long-term preparedness strategies. Obviously, if you're having a two-week plan or something like that, a 72-hour preparedness kit is all you're really worried about, then you probably don't need it. But for you know anything longer than a month or so, I think it's a fantastic option, and it's something that you can use when nothing's gone bad, you know, you don't have to have a disaster situation to be able to use this to cook some things better than you're able to cook them in your normal stove. And so check the link below to get the amazing $70 discount. Totally worth it. This thing will last for years and it's definitely a big part of my preparedness plan now. So thanks for watching guys.